How's it going, everyone? And welcome to Ted Plays Would You Rather. Uh, a couple of things before we get started. Sorry about the light. All I have is one lamp. Secondly, you may or may not have noticed this is not where I usually record. I'm actually watching someone's house for the week. Which brings me to my next point. I'm speaking quietly because they have a dog. And because it's getting late, loud noises often startle him. So I'm going to try and play this pretty quietly. I figured we'd open up with this question here. So would I rather be close with only one person and only see them on Sundays or know many people and see them every day but not be particularly close with any? So for this first question, it's not necessarily stating uh, with the first part that I'm close with one person, but I might still know many other people. It's not really a loophole, but the second part says I know many people, but I'm not close with any. First one's more saying you're close with someone, maybe not others. And the fact that I can only see them one day a week might help me strive towards that day to keep going, you know, it's like a reward at the end of the week or beginning of the week. So I think between the two, I'd rather be close with one and maybe know many other people that I see every day that I'm not particularly close with, but at least I'd have that one special person I get to see once a week. That way I can look forward to it. So for that reason, I'll pick this one. All right. Next question is, would you rather store all your photos on Facebook or store all your photos on Flickr? I don't have a Flickr account. I don't go on Facebook. I don't care. Would you rather lose both your arms or lose both your legs? When you think about it, hmm, it's actually going to say that losing your legs is part of transportation, but you'd still have a mode of transportation, being your arms or a wheelchair, anything like that. I think that losing arms would be too much of an impact on day-to-day -day life. Like when you think about it, you get from one place to the next with your legs mostly, but there are other means of transportation. Using arms, though prosthetics have come a long way, I think life would be a lot harder without the use of arms. So I'd rather lose both my legs, maybe get a wheelchair. Or, you know, if I had the money for it, either hey dually butt. Oh, good boy. I'm gonna hunker down over here. There you go. So I'd rather lose both of my legs. Still in the majority. Would you rather be unable to survive without eating something every hour or be unable to taste anything for the rest of your life? Now I'm hoping here that throughout the hour I'm not experiencing hunger, hunger, I'm starving, I'm dead at the end of the hour. I'm hoping it's the usual, I'm fine, I'm fine, you're dead. So as long as I don't feel the hunger pains 24-7, I think that carry a bag of M&Ms in your pocket, you know, as long as you, like, I'm sure you wouldn't forget, you know, so every hour or 45 minutes, eat an M&M, take a Skittle. I don't know, I feel like that'd be better than not, not being able to taste anything forever. I don't know, because I'm like, you wouldn't be able to tell if something's spoiled or not, and I don't know, then that gets kind of into my OCD a little bit, so. But if you screw up just once, you're risking your life every hour. Unless, of course, you have an IV and you're bedridden, and that's not really a... I'd rather live the other way, but in the best case scenario that I'm making, I would... I'd do the first one. Would you rather burp extremely loudly every 30 seconds or let out a smelly, long-lasting fart every five minutes? So now we get to these questions. I mean, long-lasting, that could last five minutes. 
that could last a few minutes. Burping extremely loudly, you could hypothetically go through life stating you have Tourette's, I suppose. <laughs> but to be surrounded by that and to make other people be surrounded by that, but twice a minute is a lot. But because it says long lasting, I'd be more inclined for the short, albeit loud burp every 30 seconds. Okay. I would say so far so good, but this is entirely opinion oriented. So I share some opinions with others. This one is, would you rather get $1 million a year in quarters or get $100,000 a year in bills? There is a such thing as a bank. Thank you. Now I say that, and of course after I do this, I would not want to roll a million dollars of quarters. That's four million quarters. Of course I could pay someone to do that for me, but there are also, and I don't know the name of it, I've never used one, those bins where you dump all your coins and it sorts it for you. So I mean, let's say I can only spit out, I don't know, $500 before it's empty. I mean, you know, just keep doing that. Do, do you really need the million dollars all at once, especially for the first year? You know, maybe after the first year you'll have enough saved up for anything so you can deal with getting 500 at a time. You still have the quarters anyways. I don't know, I'm gonna move on. Would you rather have your fingers always covered in barbecue sauce or have your fingers always covered in Doritos nacho cheese flavoring? I feel like anything wet. Oh. I'm not a huge fan of barbecue sauce to begin with, and everything I touch would just be covered. Like you'd have to like mop it off. I feel like with crumbly, cheesy fingers, you could at least more easily get it off of stuff. And I mean, it's delicious. Whereas barbecue sauce, not so much. So I'd have to side with the Doritos. Would you rather be born a dwarf or be born without one third of your legs? I think I could rock the Tyrion Lannister. There's a lot out there. I mean, I'd rather have fully functioning shorter legs than a third of your legs, you might not be able to walk right. I'd, I'd rather be a dwarf. Would you rather lose your front teeth in a skateboarding accident or break your hands on a bike? Hmm. I value my teeth and I value my hands. It's both of them. Six months to a year, double cast. Versus younger aged dentures for life. I'd probably rather break both of my hands on a bike. Because a recovery of that is actually something that could happen. Though I've ha I have heard reports of people growing a third set of teeth, but I don't think I'd be one of those people. Would you rather have to sleep three hours every day or have to sleep 15 hours every day? I mean, I love lounging around and don't get me wrong, work is work, but if I have, if I have to sleep three hours a day, it sounds like, who was it? Was it Beethoven or Einstein? Both, I don't know. Some people can get away with just three hours of sleep every day. Their brains can adjust to it. But I guess it's not what the question is. I feel like you could get... 
I'm gonna be a little nitpicky here just for the sake of getting past this question. I've been trying to do them kind of quickly. If I have to sleep three hours a day, does it mean exactly three hours? Could I sleep three hours and then take a nap? Could I doze as opposed to sleep? I don't know. 15 hours is a lot of time. And then I'd have to adjust my life accordingly. I wouldn't have enough time to do anything. I'd go with the three hours. Come on. Wow. That one was very close. I think this question might be a good one to end it on. Would you rather be a cyborg? Or would you rather be an animal-human fusion thing? And below it says, keep in mind that as a cyborg, you won't be able to shoot lasers or anything. As the other caption, you will actually be a cat monkey human, and you'll be able to swing in trees, fly, and cool stuff. After hearing that, I think the answer is pretty clear. But in case I'm completely incapable of forming my own... So for that reason, feel free, start a discussion in the comments section below, and I'll hop on that train as it starts from the station. Analogies. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. As always, I'll see you later. for the future.